I heard what you said about Brock Lesnar, and I could not agree more. I don't see how this fight goes any different than Brock Lesnar shooting a double, Mark Hunt shooting an uppercut, and then the fight being over, right? It's as simple as that. Yeah, I mean, if, 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 you're, if you're a betting man, if you're a handicapper, yeah, you, you want to you put it all on, on Mark Hunt, but there's still an attraction there. You know, it's still, Brock Lesnar is a once-in-a-lifetime attraction, not, not just to MMA or to rest, I mean, to anything he does. Just, just being in his presence, you know, you, 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 you feel this aura around him, so... But yeah, I mean that's that's what it is. You got a guy that left and he didn't leave on great terms. And I think it was like five years ago. I didn't realize that much time had gone by, but time goes so fast. I think he left five years ago. He's taken on a guy that was the number one contender uh, November of last year. I, I mean, yeah, the, you don't have to put on your Colombo rain jacket to figure this one out. <laughs> now, when you say he wasn't that good of a wrestler in college, I mean, being a two-time national champion. He was a great wrestler. I mean, right? You don't become a two-time national champion without being a great wrestler. Well, and, and you know, I am being a little critical of him. So he, just to correct you, he was a one-time national champion, but he was very dominant. He, uh, Brock Lesnar, w- uh, d- had a very special career as far as wrestling goes, or wrestling technique, or could he ever go on to be a wrestling coach? No, he doesn't know the sport of wrestling. He was able to hold good position, and he was huge. So let, let, let me say this, because he did have a really, a really successful career. He was a national champ, like you said. But to put that in perspective for you, he had to cut weight to make heavyweight. Now, nobody had to do that when Brock was wrestling. Every five or six, ten years even, you'll have a heavyweight so big that he is to drop to the limit. Usually, if you're that big of a guy and you're a good athlete, you're off playing football. So yeah. he weighed 265 pounds. In the national finals, he wrestled a guy named Wes Hand from Iowa that was 220 pounds. So Brock, right out of the gate, had a 45-pound weight advantage. In wrestling, most weights are separated by closer to 8 to 10 pounds. In wrestling terms, and I didn't win the nationals, but if you gave me a guy that I outweighed by 45 pounds, he wasn't going to make it two minutes with me. It wasn't a skill issue at that point. I would just go crush him, and he would never get up again. Brock went into so, double overtime with a guy that he outweighed by 45 pounds. And, you know, he was huge back then. It was all muscle. It was the right way. He was able to get in position, and he was also tough. Brock wouldn't give up anything. If it went into overtime, he could stay in there. He was a good competitor. But as far as a good wrestler, you know, where you're talking about some technical, no, no, he, n- not at all. And I don't think he would pretend pretend to be either he's not going to make a technique video that kids are going to pay for online put it that way so how would he have done you think against steve mako prime for prime well you know there again i almost have to double talk on what i'm saying i'm kind of saying both things i i need to pick a side of the fence here skill wise no brock was a miss technique wise he was a miss mako was a very elite uh wrestler uh for knowledge however Brock was big enough and strong enough and good enough competitor that Brock could have gone with him. Mako would have beat him, but Brock could have given him problems. Even on a bad day, Brock's within three points of, of Mako. He was just Kevin too Randleman, big and too strong. Kevin, Kevin Randleman was a 177-pounder. When he fought, he fought all the way up at heavyweight. He probably should have been 85, 205. You know, he was, he was pretty juiced up. Uh, but... As far as skill goes, definitely Randleman. Definitely. Randleman could wrestle, man. Randleman went on and was a wrestling coach. Right before he passed, he was out in Colorado Springs with Matt Lindland getting certifications. He, he was starting to coach the, the next crew of guys. 